Nowadays, many people like traveling as they want to explore the world and watch everything they have read about. And this seems to be quite justified, as practical knowledge is way more essential and effective than the theoretical one. People like to visit historical places present in different parts of the world and gather information on the same to write books and, sto and stories. Traveling has become easier due to advancement in technology and transportation. Earlier people used to travel by road or sea, and it takes many days to reach from one place to another. However, now the scenario has changed, and people travel to far-off places within hours and minutes. Thanks to well-built roads and aeroplanes. People travel for different purposes, some travel for the sake of education, while others travel to relax and enjoy. Many people take a break from their hectic schedule and go for a vacation, this makes them feel delightful and also help them to invigorate. Since the beginning, increased crop production has been the ultimate goal of the farmer. The very basic advances toward this included fertilization and rotation of crops. These simple steps alone took thousands of years to come about. Domestication perhaps was the first process to actually take place. Evidence of this is prevalent throughout many, throughout many parts of the world as far back as 11,000 years. Detection of this was done by comparing wild varieties of the product to the preferred and produced varieties. Changes in size are the most common differences, especially among types of grain. However, this domestication came about mostly through the selection process. Since the people naturally selected the larger more hardy vegetable or grain, those larger specimens of the species would go on to produce the next generation. Though this may seem primitive, it has led to the varieties we see and eat today. The past two centuries have, no doubt, been the most influential and beneficial to the agricultural industry. Fertilization has been around for a long time, but not until recently did we really understand how to maximize the potential. I am a historian and an expert in the idea that good things happen to good people. I research a form of Christianity nicknamed the Prosperity Gospel, for its very bold promise that God wants you to prosper. I never considered myself a follower of the Prosperity Gospel. I was simply an observer. The Prosperity Gospel believes that God wants to reward you if you have the right, right kind of faith. If you are good and faithful, God will give you health and wealth and boundless happiness. Life is like a boomerang. If you are good, good things will always come back to you. Think positively. Speak positively. Nothing is impossible if you believe.
let's assume you have got that dream job. You are quite satisfied with the job and your company is quite happy with your deliverables. However, all this can change almost overnight if you do not look into that major aspect of professional life progress. Make sure that you enhance your qualities at least once a year. Also, make though, make sure that you are constantly in pursuit of enhancing your academic knowledge. Without an increase in academic knowledge as well as qualities required for the job, you will find it very difficult to move your career forward. Another important aspect of maximizing your career potential is to network. The network of a professional is sometimes considered as his or her the second salary. Having a cordial relationship with colleges, the company's customers and even the company's competitors may enhance your career. If you have a number of people on your network, you will be able to keep an ear to the market position, as well as new career opportunities and prospects. This is a tricky aspect, but if carried out right, it can work wonders for your profession. This will not only ease the initial hesitation anyone has about grouping with existing members, as well as ensure that your interaction levels have increased or at least exist with other individuals. The Global Nutrition Summit will take stock of commitments made to date, celebrate progress toward global goals on nutrition, and announce new commitments to accelerate the global response to malnutrition. The event is open to governments, civil society, multilateral agencies, private foundations, and companies. After a decade of decline, eight of decline, the recent news that global hunger is on the rise with the number of undernourished people increasing from 777 to 815 million in 2021 signals the urgent need for action. During a time of political change around the globe, this event is an opportunity for world leaders to make new pledges and commit to upholding prior ones. Nutrition plays a critical role not only in child health and survival, but also in driving economic prosperity for families and nations. It is encouraging to see increased attention from world leaders to address malnutrition, in all its forms and in particular to reduce stunting everywhere. It will take continued efforts and dedication to ensure this progress continues. The Global Nutrition Summit will build on the legacy of Nutrition for Growth, the first ever global nutrition conference held in London in 2021, which mobilized over $4 billion for nutrition-specific projects and $19 billion in nutrition-sensitive projects. The summit will foster dialogue around emerging issues such as cities as innovator hubs, sustainable food systems for optimal nutrition and gender, health, and nutrition. Plastic domes can be produced from a quality plastic called plexiglass. Its qualities are closer to glass. Its light permeability doesn't change with time. Its surface is hard and smog and dust do not stick to or bake onto the surface. Each rain completely rinses it, making it self-cleaning. The surface is scratch resistant against flying dust in string dust in strong wind. It has excellent optical characteristics and the ability to collect sunlight and send it down the tube. It doesn't age under UV rays or temperature changes or moisture. Its disadvantage is, however, a higher price. Some producers don't use a dome, but instead, use a roof window to which they then attach a sun tunnel tube. 
This is an interesting solution, but only for spaces where a lower amount of sunlight is enough. The flat surface of a window reflects 30% of the light away from the sun tunnel at the roof level. Smog and dust stick more easily to its flat surface, and it's necessary to keep it clean. Snow sticks to the flat surface very easily, leaving no other choice but to crawl onto the roof and remove the snow or remain without sunlight turn on the light during the day. There are also several kinds of surface profiles and internal reflectors for domes. These alterations are supposed to raise the amount of light the dome catches. If you are carrying out building work personally, it is very important that you understand how the building regulatory system and material apply to your situation as you are responsible for making sure that the work complies with the building regulations. If you are employing a builder, the responsibility will usually be theirs, but you should confirm this at the very beginning. You should also bear in mind that, if you are the owner of the, owner of the building, it is ultimately you who may be served with an enforcement notice if the work does not comply with the regulations. Some kinds of building projects are exempt from the regulations, however generally, if you are planning to carry out building work as defined in Regulation 3 of the Building Regulations, then it must comply with the building regulations. Secure financial messaging services provider Swift said today that it has expanded the GPI tracker system to help banks track their global transactions at all times, keeping full vigil on the payments activity. Extension of its GPI tracker will cover all payment instructions sent across the network, Swift said in a statement. The introduction of the unique end-to-end -to -end transaction reference in all payment instructions will be effected through the mandatory annual standards update in November 2021. Swift GPI improves customer experience by increasing speed, transparency and automatically provides status updates to all GPI banks involved in any GPI payment chain, it said.
In every recession, marketers find themselves in poorly charted waters because no two downturns are exactly alike. However, in studying the marketing successes and failures of dozens of companies as they've navigated recessions from the 1970s onward, we've identified patterns in consumers' behavior and firm strategies that either propel or undermine, perf undermine performance. Companies need to understand the evolving consumption patterns and fine-tune their strategies accordingly. During recessions, of course, consumers set stricter priorities and reduce their spending. As sales start to drop, businesses typically cut costs, reduce prices, and postpone new investments. Marketing expenditures in areas from communications to research are often slashed across the board, but such indiscriminate cost-cutting is a mistake. Although it's wise to contain costs, failing to support brands or examine core customers' changing needs can jeopardize performance over the long term. Companies that put customer needs under the microscope take a scalpel rather than a cleaver to the marketing budget and nimbly adjust strategies, tactics, and product offerings in response to shifting demand are more likely than others to flourish both during and after a recession. The Knowledge Challenge invites proposers to submit proposals for research activities aimed at improving our basic understanding of entrepreneurs and the levers, tools and methods that can advance entrepreneurship in the United States. The Knowledge Challenge is open to proposers conducting research in universities and academic institutions, laboratories, company, companies, non-profit organizations, and as individuals. Collaborations between academic researchers and entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship support programs and other entrepreneurial ecosystem builders are welcome. The Knowledge Challenge may grant up to $400,000 annually for project teams, up to $150,000 annually for individual researchers, including hiring contract or research assistants, and up to $30,000 annually for students or student teams or doctoral researchers. A conventional sales are when the home is owned outright, or the seller owes less on the mortgage than fair market value. Conventional sales involve quicker transactions between both parties, unlike foreclosures, short sales and probate sellers typically recommend conventional sales for our buyers, especially first-time home buyers, to help them avoid the, com the complications they could run into when dealing with distressed properties or probate sales. For a majority of buyers who are looking to purchase and move into their dream home, as soon as possible conventional sales are the way to go. Oftentimes, distressed properties can take many months for the seller's bank to approve an offer or for a court date to bets set in the case of a probate sale.